Welcome back to WTF Happened in 1971. In our last episode, we explored the history of the gold standard and its role in the global financial system. Today, we're going to talk about the end of the gold standard and what that meant for the world. The gold standard had been the foundation of the global monetary system for centuries. It provided stability and predictability in financial markets as currencies were pegged to a fixed amount of gold. However, with the rise of the post-war economic boom in the 1950s and 1960s, the U.S. began to experience trade deficits, leading to a massive outflow of gold from the country. In 1971, the U.S. government made the decision to abandon the gold standard, effectively ending the Bretton Woods system. This meant that the U.S. dollar was no longer backed by gold, and the world's major currencies became free-floating, with their value determined by the market. This decision had profound implications for the global economy, as it led to a significant increase in inflation and currency volatility. Governments now had more flexibility to manipulate their currencies, but this came at the cost of stability and predictability in financial markets. Today, we are still living with the consequences of the end of the gold standard, as our current monetary system is based on fiat currency, which is not backed by any physical commodity. We'll explore the implications of this in future episodes. Thanks for watching WTF Happened in 1971. Join us next time as we dive deeper into the aftermath of the end of the gold standard. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay curious about Bitcoin.